Hey everybody, today I'm popping in to do a quick tutorial for you on how to create subtitles for your videos. We all know that subtitles are huge right now because a lot of content is watched without sound, so you need subtitles. People read a lot of video content right now, and it is major. So I'm gonna teach you how to do this for free. There are some paid options that you can use as well, um, but this is the totally free way to do it. It's a little bit labor intensive, um, but it is the easiest way to create subtitles for your videos. So step number one is to upload your video to YouTube. Um, and so here we are on my YouTube channel and what I'm going to do is show you after I've uploaded a video, how I create subtitles for that video. So, Go to the home page of your uh, your YouTube channel, and you're going to click Creator Studio. And then along here, you have all of your most recent uploads of videos. I'm going to do this one, YouTube channel, YouTube channel ideas for beginners, and I'm going to click Edit. All right, and now under the editing platform right here. You have a lot of different options at the top, info and settings, enhancements, audio, end screen and annotations, cards, and then this little guy all the way at the end that sometimes gets forgotten but is very important, subtitles and closed captioning. So you're gonna click right there. And the video or YouTube actually auto generates captions for you. So you're going to click right here English automatic, and these are the automatic subtitles that YouTube has created for your video. So they've already interpreted what they think you said, and it's not always right, and the punctuation isn't always there. So that's what you're gonna go through and edit. So click over, you're gonna click here, this top, on the top right, there's a button that says edit. You click there, and it will allow you to go in and actually edit the subtitles on your video. So I'm not going to go through the whole thing. I'm just going to show you like how I do the very beginning of it and you get the idea along the way. Okay. Hey, welcome back to my channel today. I okay. So as you can see, it's already like a little bit. So I like to do, I, I love punctuation. I'm a big fan of punctuation. So, um, Hey, welcome back to my channel period. So we're going to separate this a little bit. So it's a little easier to read. I want to talk about idea. Okay. So we're going to go back here now this is the time signature over here to the left of your um your subtitles and that says how long that it's on the screen so it won't necessarily this gets a little bit complicated it's not perfect but it won't necessarily show up if this sub subtitle right here is longer than this one right here. So you see how this one goes to four seconds and this one starts at two. So it's just like a little bit weird. So I actually go into this one right before it and click backspace and it will join those two together. Okay, so let's try. We're gonna move the cursor all the way back. We're gonna start from the beginning. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about ideas for your YouTube channel. Okay, and so YouTube channel should pop up right there at where are we like four seconds so 405 so we want this one to go until four five hey welcome back to my channel today i want to talk about ideas for your youtube channel because when you are first starting out whether you have five when you are first starting out comma whether you have, and then I, I push enter to move it to the next one, okay? So let's try, and then we're gonna move the cursor up a little bit because we're already there. Five subscribers, 500 subscribers, or 5,000 subscribers. There are certain things that you need to be thinking of. Okay, subscribers, comma. You know, it's not always gonna be perfect, but I like to join them together so that there's a lot more text and it's not moving as much. It makes it easier just to like put it in for you as well. Um, this is gonna go to 16.7. So you see how you want it to go right up to the edge of your previous, um, the previous subtitle, okay? So it can, it gets a little weird. Now there's also the option of here 
on your timeline over to the right, you can move your subtitles back and forth to where you want hey, them. Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to talk about ideas for your YouTube channel. Because when you are first starting out, whether you have five subscribers, 500 subscribers, or 5,000 subscribers, there are certain things that you need to be thinking about when it comes. Okay, there are, let's go back to here. Bring the cursor back. There are certain things that and then that you need to be thinking about. So we're gonna move that you need over. need to be thinking about when it comes to your YouTube channel. And it's really, really easy to get carried away with a lot of big really dreams. Easy. So you can kind of go in and edit as you're talking um, and you wanna go back and forth between these two. Sometimes a subtitle might not show up and you're like, why is that happening? Usually it's because the, um, the time signature over here is, zero time. So it's like 18 to 18. And that means there's no time for that subtitle to be on the screen. So it takes a little bit of finesse and a little bit of getting used to dreams and big ideas and you know, big ideas. Where are we? Dreams and big ideas. Cancel that. Okay. Um, I want to talk about lifestyle and cooking. You know, I want to talk about lifestyle and cooking and branding and, and marketing. About lifestyle and cooking and branding and marketing and fashion and design and art. Like, it, it, that's a lot. That's a lot of things. Okay. And so for something like this, when it's, when I stumble over my words or something, naturally in conversation, it makes sense. But here, I'm just going to take out these words. Like, I'm going to take out like, I'm just going to go, that's a lot, Ex exclamation point. That's a lot of thing, backspace there, things to focus on, period. All right, so as you can see, YouTube is, this is all auto-generated. This is like machine learning. The, these computers have generated your subtitles. So it's not going to be perfect. You're going to go through and edit your subtitles to the point where you are happy with them. Um, you know, it doesn't, again, it doesn't have to always be perfect. Uh, and then I, I do sort of glaze over some, um, some grammar things or punctuation things just to get it done. Because honestly, like you just want to get this done fast. It's not the most fun task to do. Um, at least for me, maybe you love it. In which case, maybe you should like go into business doing this for somebody like me. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to keep, I'm just going to like 41. Focus your channel. And then you can sort of go through and read them as you go and be like, okay, that's right. All right, so let's go back. So today I'm going to give you some ideas of... Okay, I'm going to move that. How to focus your channel and how to build a successful YouTube channel. A successful... And this is going to go down to 44. Great, YouTube channel, oops, play. Based on that focus. Okay, and then this is my intro, so I'm actually gonna cut this all the way down, and it's just gonna be a blank space for my intro. So no subtitles on that. When you're first starting your YouTube when channel, you wanna keep one thing in mind, and that is that YouTube ultimately is a search engine. And that is how you're going to drive a lot. Ultimately, comma. Okay, so you get the point. It's going through and just like perfecting it, making sure that there's nothing that totally doesn't make sense or anything like that. Um, let me just of finish your baseline. This. Channel, you want to keep one thing in mind, and that is that YouTube ultimately is a search engine, and that is how you're going to drive a lot of your. Okay, so let's move this back. That is how you are going to drive. So this is going to go down to 58. 
in mind. And that is that YouTube ultimately is a search engine. And that is how you're going to drive a lot of your baseline beginner YouTube channel traffic. So if you are bringing people to your channel through. Okay, so you get the point. All right, so let's say I went through and did all of that. I didn't, but just for the purposes of this demonstration, it's done, right? You're gonna click over here, this blue button at the top, publish edits. Great, and now you have these subtitles and these are the true subtitles, not the automatically generated ones. Um, and then when you're, you're publishing it right now, so it's not, okay, here we go. So we're gonna click back on here and what you can do now this is the cool part, is you've got your subtitles on here and they're great, they're on your YouTube channel, but what if you wanna upload that same video to Facebook or LinkedIn and you wanna add subtitles to that? Well, you're gonna click over here in this top left corner right here, Actions, and you can download your subtitles. Um, SRT file is the classic one, so you're just gonna click Download and it will be right here in your downloads, captions.srt. Um, yeah, okay, so it won't open, it won't open in here because it doesn't recognize my, this file, but when you upload it to some, a platform like LinkedIn and it asks for an SRT file, you've got it. That's the, the file you just downloaded, all right? So there you go. That is how you generate subtitles for free for your videos. It takes a lot of work. It takes a little bit of finesse and finagling, but um, you'll get through it and you don't have to pay any money. Cool. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, and I'll catch you next time.